So by now, most of us have seen and practiced the K-Guard entry that Lachlan Giles used in ADCC. But unfortunately, so has everyone else. So it's becoming a bit predictable and it's getting harder and harder to get this K-Guard entry to work. And even if it does work, people will just backstep and you end up in a 50-50 scenario fighting from there as opposed to finishing the heel hook like we saw Lachlan do many times in ADCC. So in this video, we're going to talk about what I believe is the next evolution of the leg lock game. <laughs> Now we've gone over this concept a couple times already on this channel, but luckily we've gained a ton of new subscribers the past few weeks. So I wanted to just reiterate the idea of an inside spin versus an outside spin. So the classic K guard entry is an outside spin where Lachlan's head is going around the outside of his opponent's leg to facilitate the leg entry. Once he has successfully entered into the legs, the heel that he's attacking is on his bottom shoulder. And in order to expose it, he has to bring it to his top shoulder and then he can successfully wrap the heel. Now, when you compare that to an inside spin where your head goes in between your opponent's legs, when you come out into the leg entanglement, the heel that you're attacking is already on your top shoulder, completely exposed for you to wrap and go into your finish. So if we had a choice, we would prefer an inside spin over an outside spin because it exposes the heel right away. And this is what I think is going to be the next big development of the leg lock game. Now there are many ways to facilitate an inside spin, but one that's kind of gaining in popularity is this false reap recently done by Jacob Couch. And we're going to talk about how this false reap entry will fit into your overall leg log game. So traditionally when we're going for leg lock entries, we're going to make sure to pummel our feet to the inside position before we start going into our Ashigurami based leg lock game. After we enter into the position, typically we lay back and work different ways to expose their heel. But nowadays people are getting better and better at hiding their heel, preventing exposure, and then ultimately countering the position as we work harder and harder to expose their heel. Now one thing we've seen Gordon do as his opponent turns to get to their knees is he puts his foot on the ground to facilitate that inside spin and expose his opponent's heel. Now in this latest fight to win event, we saw Giancarlo find himself in this outside Ashigurami situation on defense. What's kind of funny is that in ADCC, Gordon was attacking Lachlan's leg from outside Ashigurami, and Lachlan was able to counter that and put himself into outside Senkaku. And as most of you know, Gordon and Giancarlo are on the same team, and now we see Giancarlo using this exact same strategy to counter outside Ashi and enter into inside Senkaku. And once he enters into the position, he's immediately trying to go for an inside spin, which will expose his opponent's heel. So this is what we do in an ideal world when we're able to pummel our feet back to the inside position. But as people become more and more familiar with the leg lock game, they're going to make it very difficult for you to do that. Now back in the day when you couldn't get inside foot position, this was the perfect time to use K-Guard to enter into backside 50-50. But like we talked about, these outside spin methods are becoming less and less effective. 
Now this is where the false reap comes into play because when we can't get inside foot position and we want to do an inside spin, the false reap is a great option. The false reap can also lead to great entries into inside Senkaku. And once we enter into the position, we can try to extend our opponent's leg away from them and then work to expose their heel. But as we see here, this can start to lead to some problems. So as our opponent goes to fight that extension, we should be using that momentum to facilitate that inside spin underneath them and expose their heel. Now I received a comment asking me to check out the European trials and specifically this guy named Owen who I had never heard of before but he had such a cool entry and it honestly inspired this whole video. So thank you for the comment and you'll see here Owen doesn't have the ability to pummel his foot back into inside position. So instead he elects to do kind of a kiss of the dragon type move where he spins to the inside and then back steps into his opponent's leg for the inside Senkaku entry. So that alone was pretty slick, but then right away, instead of extending his body and going for his opponent's heel, he goes for an inside spin, comes out the back and immediately wraps his opponent's heel for the finish. Watching him do this so smoothly really made me think that this inside spin is going to be a big part of the new development of Jiu Jitsu. I haven't seen it, but I imagine his instructional has a lot of amazing content, so I'll leave that link in the description below. If you want to support the channel, there'll be links down below where you can do that, specifically the Patreon, where we'll be giving away 10% of the channel's overall revenue at the end of each month. And this giveaway will most likely be in the form of a BJJ Fanatics gift card that you can then use to buy things like Owen's Instructional. So if you haven't already, please consider joining the Patreon page as a way to give back to the channel while also giving yourself a chance to win a BJJ Fanatics gift card. Thank you all so much for the support and we'll see you in the next video.